Good morning guys, this is Sumaya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to learn about the construction of the mask. I got a request on my social media to make a detailed explanation on construction of the minaret. But I thought instead of making only the minaret, let's make the whole mask. So here I got a detailed file through online. I will share a link in the description from where you can download the AutoCAD file. Uh, this file is really very detailed with all this plan section details. So this is a section detail. Then there is an elevation. Then there is a site plan. So this is very detailed. So we are going to use this plan and make. So let's get started. Import the plan. Set the origin, set the scale, let's, let's directly define the units, so this will be around 1 meter, 1 meter, enter and finish it. Okay, so we have imported our AutoCAD plan. Now the first step you have to do is here, draw the rooms. So you can draw the rooms in the two ways. You can draw each room separately or you can draw the outer uh, counter first and then indoor counter. So when you go to the story and building construction, often you have draw new room option available. There is no indoor and outdoor, uh, indoor and outer counter options visible. So what you can do is easy step, just draw one room random close polygon and delete it so once you do this you have the outer and indoor counter options so start with draw new outer counter and trace the outline boundary of your plan we'll start from here Now trace the indoor counter. So for the indoor counter you can trace room wise. Like this is one room you can draw indoor counter only for this room.
so we have drawn the complete plan of the mask we'll save the file so we have finished the plan view let's go and check the elevation so in this elevation the story height is 4 meters and there is a rise raise in the platform so that one is of around 0.7 meters so what we'll do is we'll set the story height first so we are already in the story and in the properties you can find story height make this as 4 meters okay so my story height is now 4 meters we'll give a texture for this pick material and replace it okay and there is 0.7 meter rise in the platform so for that one go to the side draw rectangular floor element or you can draw the polygonal floor element so the rise is only where the mask is so select draw polygonal floor element and raise the whole mask plan view you can off the autocad plan if you require So after tracing the whole part, right mouse button, close polygon and here it will uh, show you the dimensions of the size, make it 0.7 meters, select the move icon and then go to the plan view. Now you can see it is at the top like it is starting from the bottom and it is extend extending towards up but when you want this floor element to be at the bottom so we'll move it down right okay go to the plan view and it is placed properly you can give the texture for this replace the material so once this is done go again and draw one more flower element but this will be a like a normal road okay draw rectangular floor element extend the points so you can set the coordinate system to the uh, next floor element you're drawing here okay select the floor element and move it down perfect now give the texture of maybe a pav pavement or the grass for this. Apply material. So we have constructed our outdoor counter, indoor counter and the site plan. Next what you can do is you can place the doors and windows. For the windows, let's measure the length of the windows. So it is 1.7 meters in height. And the still height is 0.85. Okay. So the similar kind of window, let's go and search in the apertures. So we don't have any standard uh, window of this type. What we have is this rectangular window with the transform. So we can place uh, either one of this or the two of this. Or we can directly place the rectangular window. So we'll set the still height as 0.85. 
and the height of the window is 1.7 right recheck it if you require recheck it 1.71 0.857 the still height we'll save our dialogs file so these are the smaller windows or the ventilators we'll draw it later but we'll finish these windows too So we have finished placing the windows. Now apply some texture to the frame of the windows. Pick material. Make it a little bit dark, darker and replace the material. Okay. Now next is we are going to draw the left out windows. The still height here will be 2 meters. and window height is 0.57 Once this is done, let's go and place some doors. So the door is, you can see in the width. So inside is the door. You can see it is into three divisions. And starting from the floor level. So we have a similar window, aperture, which we'll be using for the door. That is this one. It is starting from the floor level, so we'll make it the still height as 0 0.01 let's check the height of this one so it is 2.57 meters similarly place it this for this and this doors too The left out door is this arched door. The similar aperture we don't have in the dialogs catalogs and it is moreover it is like a cutout. So what we are going to do is we are going to make it like a cutout itself. So first for the selection draw extrusion body. Close polygon. Rotate it, place it in the plan view, copy and place it on the other side as well. So once you have placed this one, let's make this structure, uh, let's make the extrusion volume little bit darker. So apply some dark texture to it. Then select the cutout. So we are going to draw the cutout in the 3D view itself. So watch it carefully. Set the view whichever is proper to you. Select draw polygonal cutout and trace this shape out 
it doesn't need to be accurate because we can make the modifications later and then close polygon select this one use the move tool and then you can go to the side elevations like you can select the front view and here you can adjust the points to adjust the points you can select this one edit polygon for more precision you can add the points here So now the precision is correct. Go to the plan view and delete the extrusion body you placed. And here you have nice cutout of the arch shaped. The same you can copy on the other side as well. And here you have the cutouts. You can close the plan views. Let's apply some texture for the floor. You can change the texture of your windows as well like pick the material now it is white you can make it green or blue so let's make a shade of green or blue green replace material and here you go so you can change the color of the windows like this. so you can change the texture of your window panels too in this way So the next thing left out is the minaret, the dome and the staircase. Staircase is easy. So let's construct this dome. For this first we will check the height of this dome. It is 4.48 so we will approximate it to 4.5 meters and the dia of this one is 8.7 meters right so here is the tomb i have select the hemisphere for smooth surface we will increase the segments here like you can have maximum of 64 segments so it will give you a smooth finish then 7.45 meters so make it 7.45 meters place individual so place the object perfectly placed let's recheck the height of the tomb it is 4.5 meters you can check in the plan view so it is 3.72 we can make it 4.5 you can directly check uh, change it in the size section now it is 4.5 meters perfect change the texture of this one i have kept it white for now You can change to any texture of your choice. So we have done with the dome. From the outside it is. Uh, so we have made the dome. From the outer view it is correct. But from the inner view. 
it is not so generally when we have a dome so there is a circular we can see the whole dome even from the inside so for that what we can do is you can go to the cutout circular cutout draw an imaginary circle imaginary circle here go to the plan view and you can see the circle which you have drawn is here move it and increase the size Now it is perfect. The cutout. But still, your dome is looking flat because the hemisphere which I have drawn is solid. So you can use the subtract. You can copy the another hemisphere and subtract it so that it is hollow. And subtract it now you can see even from the inside the dome is perfect okay so uh, we have finished with the dome now let's now let's uh, now let's work on the details of the minaret so the minaret is starting from the floor level so we have finished the part till here and this part will be in story 2 and this one will be in story 3 right so we are going to measure the length of this it is 5.1 meters or you can say it is yeah 5.1 meters so select new empty story So in the story mode your AutoCAD file is not visible. In that case you can load the plan again. In this keeping keeping the drawing in the story mode. Once the drawing is uh, loaded, make sure you have placed it properly. If it has not been placed properly, move the plan. Select the first point on the AutoCAD drawing and bring it to the point where your uh, dialogue model is there. So perfect, we have uh, finished. Now you can draw the outer contour. Close polygon, draw indoor contour. close polygon height of this one was 5.1 meters we'll check it at the side view zoom all and this is your minar replace the material so we have finished drawing the minar till here now the top portion is left out which is of height 4 meters so this one we are going to draw it in another story so next step is draw new empty story you have you already have an outer contour here if you feel difficulty drawing the outer contour here you can import the AutoCAD file again but for me I will draw the outer contour tracing the same part Go to the side view the height of this one was 4 meters we'll change it done 
replace the material so we have finished drawing even our minaret the top portion is similar you can copy the same hemisphere here Now you can now there is another part which is coming projecting outwards of the minaret. So I can assume that this is a balcony kind of a thing. So in the AutoCAD plan we don't have the details for this one. So how are we going to draw is go to the site mode. For now we'll just move the dome outside. Select the vertical cylinder. Now this has eight sides, so make the segments as eight. And the area of this one will be 1.3 meters, but we'll make it 1.5 meters. Or you can make it 1.6 meters as well, because we don't know how much width is the balcony. Place the object, rotate it, we will check the height of this one. So we have drawn only this section, so that height is 0.42 meters. We will make it 0.42 meters, enter. We have finished making the top part, we will make even the bottom part. Let's check the height first. So height of this one is 0.2 meters. So to draw this portion, we are going to select Frustum. Height is 0.42 meters. So if you observe here, it has a lower diameter and upper diameter. Lower diameter will keep it 1.3 meters because from it is the it is where from where my minaret starts. And upper diameter is the diameter of the balcony we have that is 1.6 meters, and the segments is eight. Okay. Place the object. Rotate it. You can go in the plan view. Bring it down. Height is not 0.42, it is 0.2 itself. You can combine both the extrusion objects. Give some texture to this. And you can place the position as per the drawing. So one is at, at the top. Here. And the second one is 2.7 meters below it. Control C, Control V. You can draw the reference line for the measurement. Points and meters will be somewhere here. Move it up. So we have finished the construction of the minaret as well. And on the dome and the minaret there is a nice architectural element I can say this part so this part you can directly get it in the sketchup and you can import it in the dialogues evo so let's go and search, search for some of those search for 3d warehouse and dome of mask so 
so here you have that minaret the top portion you can select anyone and import it in the so I have chosen this AutoCAD file because here you have nice top portion of the dome you can delete the rest portion zoom out and export once it is exported you can place in the dialog zero so file import furniture file this dome you can scale it Check in the dialogs, perfect. And the top portion of this one, the section. And the entrance door elevation, this one. Um, this is quite easy. We can draw a normal extrusion body for this. Draw extrusion body like this. Close polygon. And trace the inner part. Again, by using the extrusion volume itself. Now, you can delete the second extrusion volume from the first one. Rotate it. Bring it in the plan view. Scale it. Check in the elevation. Apply the texture. So we don't have any section detail for the staircase, but we can use the same elevation for drawing it. So for that one, you can use the reference grid. Okay. The width of each step is 0.14. I will set the same grid even for the reference grid 0.14. So once it is done, select the extrusion body, draw extrusion body, and trace the steps like this one by one. Once you have finished drawing it, draw it straight and close polygon. Hide the reference lines. Rotate it. Check in the side view if the orientation is correct. Yes, it is correct. Now scale it. Bring it to the plan where you have your model. We have placed the stairs and we did a little bit of scaling because we didn't had a proper details for the staircase. Replace material. 
here there is no platform or the floor element you can draw the extrusion volume to fill this place or you can directly edit your site element by just extending the points perfect similarly you can place the staircase wherever it is present So we are done, we have finished placing even the staircase of the AutoCAD plan and you can see the whole, whole mask here. So this is about the construction of the mask. So the trickier part here was the minaret, the dome and the rest all were same. So you need to have more practice with the cutout tools when it comes to the Islamic architecture. Other than that, it's all the same steps. So let's add more details like the path and some trees. So this is it. So we have finished placing even the path and some trees. You can add more details like you can add some people around. You can add some benches if it is there. So moreover, it's all about the details in the Islamic architecture. So the precision and the practice is must for that. So any detailed construction, you can practice it and try to find the easiest way possible to do it. So this is it guys in this video hope hope the tutorial was very detailed and if you found this video helpful please hit the thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned to explore more and dialogues with me thank you